So I finally finished my arcade cabinet, uh, exception of a little cleanup that I have to do. Uh, a little piece of furniture to put it on. It came yesterday, I put it together, and uh, yeah, so I just have it set up there. Got some artwork from, uh, I forget what the hell the name of the place is. Um, let me see here. But, uh, yeah, so I got some Mortal Kombat 2 artwork. I have it set up so I can just swap the artwork out and I don't have to get more plexi or anything. I cut the plexi myself and plexi for the screen. I have some artwork on the side. I have just little decals. Um, I'll, I'm going to get to that. I'm just trying to remember the name of the place I got the artwork from here. And I have the... I should have the email uh, that I had. Bah, 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 bah. Well, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, bah, bah, bah. here it is. Oh, it's Game on Graphics. That's right, Game on Graphics. So yeah, I got the the um, the Marky art from Game on Graphics. I don't have anywhere to print around me. There used to be a uh, Office Max and I could have used that if they didn't go out of business years ago. So um, I no longer have that. Um, but I do have some artwork and stuff on here. I swapped out the speaker for just a JBL Flip 4. Uh, I figured I could take this with me somewhere. This is my excuse for buying it but I figured, you know, I didn't have a speaker I can take anywhere with me. I could just swat and snatch it off the top of the the thing. It sounds good, and uh, I can control the volume from here. So I just have a couple screws that it's leaning up against to, to stay there, and that's that. Um, and what else? So I'll show you the artwork. I'm going to take you out of my thing here if I can do that without. Okay. Let's come over here and there is some Mortal Kombat this is just a um, a decal and down here we have it's a mirrored on both sides same thing and so that's the um, what the hell is it called the uh, blah, 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 Space Invaders logo for some reason so I've been using retro arch for so long that I want to call it the retro arch logo <laughs> Which is totally stupid, but now let's see if we can put this back. Uh, so I did add a feature where I can capture gameplay from the side of the cabinet. So I have a capture card built in and I can just press a button and capture the gameplay. And then I have a thumb drive in there it captures to and I just pull the, ca uh, the, cap the thumb drive out and put it in my PC and I can just do it from there. Yeah. Um, I think the Steam Link recently had an update that allows you to, because uh, I'm using the Steam Link in here, it allows you to um, get out of here. I have some hotkeys and things set up to, to back out of games and all that because of the lack of buttons. So Steam Link kind of lets you do stuff like that. Uh, but there was an update that allows you to actually stream over the internet instead of over just your network with the Steam Link. So that's a beta update only. Um, I don't know. So I haven't tried that, but I, you know, like I don't have it. I'm, I'd never take that thing with me. But if I wanted to, I could take the arcade cabinet with me somewhere. And if it was good enough internet, I could actually stream it, uh, stream my my PC over the internet to the cabinet and play with a friend. But the chances of me actually having that kind of internet is slim to none. So. I have no no interest in really doing that. It's just possible. Um, get out of here. Go into another game. I'm using Launchbox, and we'll find another game. I have my favorites here set up. Got to find another ROM for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 because that ROM is no good. Go X Men. I don't know which one. I normally use a two player version because that one lets you pick, you know, 
whatever character you want, and as opposed to you having to be player one or player two or player three or player four, which don't exist on the board here, or whatever the, the cabinet. So I used the, uh, I haven't set this up yet. Um, I do have something for that. I do have a hotkey for that uh, so that I can set up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's, I think it's double tapping the start button or something like that or double tapping something. So that I can change out this artwork. Because uh, right now it says Street Fighter 2 and I'm playing X-Men. I want to have it. I do have the artwork for that. So I want to set that up. But right now I don't have it. But uh, yeah. So now I can select Wolverine. And... Is it, are the buttons even set up? I may have... Oh, no, the buttons are set up. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, I can back out of this. And that's that. And, um... So, yeah. So, then, of course, I have... I can go into Steam, of course, and, um... Launch Steam games. But, of course, the most important thing is MAME. Um, but I did want to play games like Mortal Kombat and, uh... X and, and Street Fighter you know, four or whatever in, um, here. Eventually want to get Tekken when the price goes down, uh, the new Tekken, um, and play that. But, yeah, it's really cool to be able to configure, you know, those Steam games and all these other games, uh, individually with the Steam configurator. So, it just makes things really easy so that you can have the exact button layout that you want remembers all the buttons that you mapped out and everything so and you can map like two buttons to one button and that's how I got uh, you know some of these things to work and Mortal Kombat uh, X I can I have one button set as x-ray as the x-ray move I think I have it start and then I have start here and I have this as the x-ray button instead and I've never really used select for anything so I just said fuck it I don't want I don't need select so I don't even have select mapped. Um, I also have it set so that like when you go into um, when you go into the um, what is that? Um, let me get out of here so I can think easier. Okay, so when you go into the um, the that uh, what is that? The graveyard thing or whatever it is, the uh, thing where you unlock everything, where you unlock the fatalities and everything. You do need the um, right analog stick to navigate, so I set it, I believe, so that if you hold start and press, you know, left or right on the, uh, on, on the, the, uh, what you would call it, that I got here, the stick, it basically acts as a right analog stick, so I can actually move left and right and, you know, whatever, it can turn left and right, whatever. So that worked out fine. And uh, yeah, so other than that, uh, got the backlight in here. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm using a, um, a rechargeable, you know, something with rechargeable batteries. So it's not uh, using uh, power inside, you know, on, on a wall power. It's not using wall power, it's just using batteries. So I do have to recharge the batteries. Uh, could change that out eventually but i i, I kind of like it because it's uh it's actually um has a remote so i can turn it on with a remote which i have right here turn it off and on and i think i may need to charge it actually because it looks a little dim <laughs> um but yeah so i have that i have the capture card blah 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the only thing i really do need is some way of actually turning the thing off completely so eventually I'll get to I'll I'll do that I guess whatever, but for the most part I'm I'm it's done I mean <laughs> that's fine, uh yeah, so other than that there it is yay oh woohoo yeah so I'm sure I'll be upgrading it you know in the future I'll be just doing things to it continuously but I'm calling it done for now, <laughs> um. So thank you for watching and have a good one.